We got to keep on talking, keep on walking, 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 walking into freedom land. And that's really what we have to do. You know, when we look at that mountain that Martin Luther King said he had gone up into and looked over into the promised land, we got to keep on walking upward toward gaining that vision ourselves, each and every citizen gaining that vision of just how high we can go toward true peace and harmony in this country and in true communication between all of our people. Just think about what all we could do with a little more vision. Just think about everything that we could have accomplished in this country up to this point if we'd had just a little bit more vision, if we'd just kind of hanged up, hung on to that vision that Martin Luther King painted before us, which most people misinterpreted and the others just barely understood. Just think about that vision. And if we just spent more time up there in the mountaintop, just think about what all we could accomplish in the area of medicine and in uh, lowering the cost of health care and all the things that we could do to provide for the poor and all the things we could do to develop all of our resources, to provide, provide better energy, provide better, uh, better hope in all kinds of areas. As I think about going up into a mountaintop and saying, what is the future? What does the future hold? What is all down there before us as a promised land? Because there's always a promised land. There's always a promised land. God intends us to see a promised land all the time. And he intends us to see one that is greater and greater and greater and greater all the time. Only depends on our vision. That's taught. Without the vi a vision, the people perish. But with a vision, the promised land gets bigger and greater all the time. And we want to think about, just think about what would have happened if we would have had the vision back 30 or 40 years ago to put a whole lot more money into research and made sure that we put research scientists into the field. And it was a case, especially back then, as much as today, and that there were all kinds of students that would have liked to have gone into, the re into research science. And science was becoming more and more interesting. And people everywhere was wanting to go into, uh, into uh, becoming a research scientist and do more in that area. But the funds were not there to pay the research science. Companies were springing up to develop new drugs and new uh, medical equipment and new areas uh, that they were going to hire research scientists to, to find. Just think about if we had put a lot more into that. Just think about how far, just think about right now how, how long we have understood uh, a lot more about viruses. And th just think about how we hardly even knew what a virus was only a generation ago. As far as understood, it stood there uh their uh, characteristics and the diseases they produce and and uh, how to prevent them and how, how they are wiped out by the T cells and so forth in the system and how the immune system takes care of uh, surrounding and, uh, and, and preventing uh, things from happening due to viruses and all these things which we understand now about viruses if we had put the money into research a generation ago, just think how far we would be now in totally understanding viruses and exactly how to wipe them out in every case, exactly how to control epidemics caused by every kind of virus. We would have understood the whole thing completely by now. And think what that would have avoided as far as the kind of things we that we've experienced lately with the COVID-19 and so forth. But this is an area, this is an example of what vision does. Vision for the future. And we have to get that kind of vision right now for the future of this country in uh, genetic research and in research into aging. 
and research into how to cure all sorts of diseases from heart disease to cancer to diabetes and all these things which uh, enough research do dollars put into and enough people being able to go into the research uh, scientist field and become research scientists uh, would wipe those out in a short period of time. But we haven't bothered to invest enough in these areas. We've invested in some good areas, but we really need to do more uh, walking, walking, walking into the understanding of what our various dollars can be invested in that would save money in the future and prevent suffering of humanity in the future, prevent diseases of every kind. So we can get a much greater vision if we only have the will to go up into that mountaintop and look into the future and say, what will the future bring and what kind of promised land are we looking at experiencing if we make the right investments and we make the right calls and we make the right decisions and we continue to march toward a better country and we don't leave anybody out we make sure every citizen of the country can participate in that we make this a truly free country full of harmony and peace for all and calling all to utilize their talents and their abilities to the fullest extent making that all possible by making sure we have the education system that can meet everyone's needs and the education system that will motivate people to go into all these areas which will improve the future making sure that the availability of that education is there for everyone there's a way to pay for it and a way to deal with it where everyone can get whatever education amount of education that they're motivated to get and assuring that it's set up that way and ensuring that no young person that wants to go into engineering or research science is ever left out of the picture being painted before them and the motivation given to them to go into those areas and work in those areas that the way is provided that the light is shown before the path them of the pathway to get there and how to pay for it and how to get there uh, to get there and reach their dreams of doing these things setting a, a pathway toward greater innovation in every area greater discovery in every area greater invention and greater man a greater ability to manufacture more and more goods and better better services so we need to just uh, decide that the vision of a better country and what is possible can grow greater and greater and greater in our mind the more we spend time up there on that mountaintop and not down stay down in the valley of a visionless life of just taking care of current needs and just taking care of a, a few small problems but that we actually stretch our mind to climb the mountain of vision of the future and ask ourselves every day what will the next century or two bring because it is our children and grandchildren which will be living in those next centuries the grandchildren great grandchildren and so forth and we want it to be a prosperous abundant world and so ask ourselves every day what can we do to assure that the next centuries will be so much more prosperous and so much more convenient and so much more enjoyable and with people living so much longer and living so much healthier and so much more prosperity for all and how we can have that vision to the sufficient nature and to the sufficient degree to begin to prepare for that and invest in that appropriately know know where 
the people are that are pushing forward into that, that are working on that, and invest in them and invest in their their abilities and their creative talents and their uh, their ability to, uh, to make these discoveries. This is a matter of developing a vision and walking toward it. A higher vision for what people can accomplish. A higher vision for their potential. A higher vision for their creativity. Across all spectrums of our society, across all racial lines, across all ethnic lines, across all race, creeds, and color, developing a vision for how vast their creative potential is, how vast their ability to develop new technologies and new scientific research, develop new cures, develop a greater lifestyle for us all, greater quality of life for everyone. How many people can go into becoming doctors and uh, research scientists and people who work in uh, all types of intelligence and intel and cyber security and, uh, and our computer systems and developing a greater grid in this kind of electric grid and all other grids and greater energy grid and work on developing a greater security for the country overall develop a impenetrable defense for this country how many people can work in defense and have greater and greater creative ideas as to how we can prevent uh, not only prevent wars, but if we do have an attack, we can prevent it. New discoveries, researching new discoveries on how to detect weapon systems and how to detect explosives and how to detect terrorism of every kind. Learning how to protect all of our buildings and all of our cities. People will go into research on how to do this and how to develop the techniques to do that. Develop the type of uh, the type of uh, warfare and opposition that will prevent any sort of terrorism or any sort of attack on this country. So many things like this that we need to look at towards the future, and it all takes a mountaintop vision. And uh, as I say, if we'll just live on that mountaintop of vision a while and ask ourselves what actually can be done. Ask yourselves over and over what actually can be done in the future to make this a better country. And how can we be a part of that? You know, like John Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And that what can we get involved in, you know, as a young research scientist or as a young doctor or as a young inventor or a young uh, person who... Uh, uh, as an engineer and coming up with creative ideas, what can we, we what can we get into that will make for a safer, higher quality uh, for every human citizen in this country, for every citizen in this country in the future? What will give them a greater quality of life? What will uh, develop more medicines? What will develop more cures? What will develop the greater equipment and great, greater electronic equipment? and greater uh, uh, computer equipment, and greater uh, uh, internet uh, uh, capabilities, and greater communications overall in every area that we can develop in. So I want to put that vision before you that we can do far better in the future than we've done in the past as far as pushing on into these next centuries of when there will be a greater, more prosperous time for everyone. And I pray now. Father, in the name of our Holy Son, Jesus, give everybody a greater vision of what actually can be accomplished when we invest properly in the right areas and look toward the future as to what needs to be developed and put our talents and our abilities and our creative uh, thoughts into it and our investment dollars into it. What all can be done? Give us a vision of that. And if there's anyone sick now that you will raise them up out of their sickness. Raise them up off of their bed of illness, uh, dear God, of every kind. Uh, heal them of every curable disease and incurable disease alike. Curable and incurable. Raise them up now in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus. And give everyone total happiness and joy in every area of their life. Raise them up out of any sense of oppression, depression, or obsession. Raise them up out of any sense of low feeling or being in the valley or being down, Lord, and 
and being down and out. They're down in their, their mind and, and uh, not enjoying their life to the fullest. They, if they're addicted to any drugs, deliver them from all their addictions. Put them on a higher ground of happiness and joy and hope and vision for the future. And we ask all these things in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen.